You are now watching Dragon Ball Fighters. Hey, what is up my Space Cowboys? Jude here, and today I wanted to go ahead and teach you guys how to do an extended air combo. This is something I've been getting asked uh, quite a bit on the channel, and I just wanted to go ahead and demonstrate how exactly to do it and the different scenarios that you'll be in and how you can take advantage of it depending on the characters that you use because each individual character has their own different movesets and, what, and whatnot that they can do uh, depending on whether they're mid-screen or in the corner. And then some characters truthfully cannot do an extended air combo themselves because of the fact that they do not have a down heavy or 2H that actually launches. So if you guys saw the previous video that I had posted in regards to how to perform a basic bread and butter combo, I'll go ahead and demonstrate it for you guys right now. Now, that was a basic bread and butter using Goku, and I used him as the basis because Goku is probably the most balanced character in the game, and one of the easiest to pick up in my opinion. So I'm gonna once again use Goku in this particular situation, but I'll go ahead and show you Rose and Gohan as well, just to show you a bit of variety. But starting off, I'll demonstrate what the extended air combo looks like. <laughs> So if you saw right there, it took a different path than the basic one that I had showed earlier. So just to go over that, with the basic combo, I had started off with two lights, a standing medium, and then a crouching medium, so that then I can launch Frieza over to the wall and chase him down with a with a super dash. But with this new route that I took, instead of performing the standing M before the crouching M, I actually performed the crouching M and then the standing M. So just to demonstrate that, just so you guys can follow. I performed the crouching M and then the standing M because from there, we can jump cancel into the following combo and get a bit of an extension right there. So just to demonstrate it. And then from there we do the launcher. Pretty basic. So the commands for that, once I jump up in the air, may have looked difficult, but it really isn't. Um, all I did was L, M, L, and then 2H or down H, and that's what causes them to launcher. Now if you guys are wondering, why is Frieza being launched into the air? Well that's because I haven't used my launcher yet. When you haven't used your launcher, so if you use a launcher to go ahead and knock Frieza over to the wall, I'll demonstrate it. Whoops, sorry, whoops, let me demonstrate that again. So as you saw right there, once I launch Frieza over to the wall, I cannot launch him again with the same effect. And, and essentially what I'm saying is once I launch, once you use a launcher once in a combo, you cannot use it again. To super dash chase them again it's it's just not possible in the game so going back to what I was saying after I performed the launcher you saw that I did the super dash so the super dash allows me to chase them up into the air and then once again I literally did the same thing again I did L M I mean L M L so light medium light and then 2H or down H again and you'll notice that Frieza is launched once again now this is where the tricky part comes in and I feel like most people probably have trouble with this and it's probably why they ask how do you perform the extended air combo so just to go over it so if you saw or rather let me demonstrate it how people will normally try and do it people normally try to to do the, the combo manually. When you're in the air and you're trying to get that last bit of extension and you try and do the combo manually, this is what it's going to look like. Whoops, I, I, I messed that up. Let me show you manually how people try and do it. I apologize. Keep at it. 
Now, if you try and perform the combo manually, and once again, I messed up. Hold on. Ah, one second, I'm just fumbling all over the place. I did it again. Okay, right there. What you saw right there was I didn't get the proper height to continue the combo. That's when you do it manually. Now, the reason for that, the reason why the extended combo is possible in the air is because when you perform or when you use the first two hits of an auto combo, it will actually give you greater height and that's where you can land the remainder of the combo. So just to demonstrate one more time. Now, once you saw right there, or rather what you saw right there, with me doing the first two hits of the auto combo on, the, on that extension after the launcher in the air, it allowed Goku, or it put Goku in position to land that, that key blast and then his roundhouse kicks into the super. Now, I don't know why this is possible. I don't know why the I don't know why auto combo gives you extra height, but that is essentially how you do that combo. So, you start off with the basic bread and butter. You follow up, you launch him in the air, you super dash chase him. You auto combo. You auto combo the first two hits. And that's going to give you a LM automatically. And then from there, you can choose to do a special of your choice. Now, let me go ahead and actually put the commands on just in case anybody has any, uh, they want to see the commands for it, just to demonstrate it. There you go. And what's neat about Goku is he actually has a, a fair bit of, of uh, corner carry, so Regardless of where he is on the screen, he takes you pretty far, so in two combos, if you're all the way at one end of the screen, you can pretty much take a guy all the way over to the next end of the screen. But, what I also want to show you guys, is characters have different corner combos depending on where they are. So, that was the combo or standard combo you could do with Goku, you know, mid-screen if you decided you wanted to do um, an extended air combo in that situation. Now, another one that you could do is oh, is once you have Goku in the corner whoops I apologize let me do that once more <coughs> excuse me now once you have <coughs> excuse me now, um, once you have Goku in the corner, the interesting thing about it is because the extended air combo takes the character so high in the air, if you perform the, the Kamehameha at the downwards angle, it causes that hard knockdown, but it also allows you enough time to perform his instant transmission Kamehameha to land two Kamehamehas in that one, that one combo. Now. That is just specific to Goku himself. He can do that combo in the corner, but he cannot do it mid-screen. I'll go ahead and demonstrate why. <laughs> Excuse me. So as you saw right there, that Kamehameha takes uh, Frieza too far to even land the downwards Kamehameha. Now next up, I wanted to go ahead and show Gohan. Now. Gohan is a bit of a special case, or I don't even want to say special case. It's just unfortunate. Gohan doesn't really have... Excuse me. Gohan doesn't really have any air specials that he can link in the air off of his extended air combo. It's kind of... There's really nowhere you can go with Gohan. The best thing you could perform is a... A heavy attack and then, you know, pursue... Pursue the opponent as they fall down and get some wake-up pressure on them. So I'll go ahead and demonstrate Gohan's and you'll see the contrast between him and Goku. Now, <coughs> excuse me. what you saw right there was me, once again, I do the heavy so that it can cause the hard knockdown and then I immediately did Gohan's fast descent so that I can, I can 
land on the ground as soon as possible and then from there I would be able to perform that pressure that I would want whether I call an assist at the same time or, or whatever the case may be as I perform a overhead heavy <coughs> excuse me but Gohan's options mid screen is pretty much that I mean the only other thing that you can get off of that is if you want it to vanish and then uh, perform a grab you can get mild mild more damage a little more damage I apologize a little more damage or um, from the grab you can tag someone else in that you would want to specifically focus on but Gohan doesn't have really anything in the center of the, the screen at least that I know now in the corner Gohan can add a special move to his uh, to his uh, extended air combo and it does cause a heart knockdown which is going to be this Oh, whoops, I apologize. So used to it. Once again. <laughs> now, <coughs> what you saw there was a corner specific combo for Gohan. Gohan cannot do that combo mid screen because, as you saw, it actually carries the key blast, carries Gohan away, and then I come forward with his. I don't know the name of the move, but it's his back fist. It puts him in perfect position to land the back fist. Because Frieza, being in the corner, cannot go any further distance. So his distance is set. He's in the corner, and then Gohan's uh, back fist travels a certain distance so it can reach in time. But if you do it mid screen like this. Oh, whoops. <laughs> Once again, let me do that over. Yeah, as you saw, it it completely missed Frieza, so I couldn't even attempt to do the back fist. <coughs> Excuse me. But I'm sure I can make that work somehow. But the back fist will never hit just simply because of the fact that Gohan goes back a certain distance. And while Gohan is going back, Frieza is traveling um, forward. So the distance will never maintain. It'll, it'll never match up. Maybe, yeah, I, I really can't think of a way to make that match up. So that is something specific for Gohan where he can literally only do that combo in the corner just because of the set distance. It's a controlled space. There's no go there's not going to be a change once again. There will not be a change in the distance that Frieza goes back because he's already in the corner. <coughs> Excuse me. Now, for black, um, with black, he has a couple of different options as well, but I'll show you a basic one for him. Now with black, I like to do this basic combo uh, for his extended air combo. It does okay, decent damage. <coughs> but, there are other things that he can do. He can also... You can also link his, I'm not sure what that is called, but that essentially, I'll call it like his sword attack. You can link his sword attack and it has decent, I can't even call it decent, but it has a bit of a corner carry. Oh, whoops, I don't know why I did that, but. Now in the corner, specific for black, he can actually do something similar that Gohan can do. Where now he can link, he can link the medium version of his attack, the sword attack, and that causes hard knockdown, and from there... You can go into any super that you want. Which is always nice. <coughs> Excuse me. So, as you saw with Goku, Gohan, and Black, they all have different options, Gohan being probably the most... Uh, clear-cut one that you can see where depending on the character that you use it's going to be a very different ball game for you when it comes to your extended uh, air combo some characters once again cannot perform the extended air combo because or this version of the extended air combo because their launcher doesn't actually or their or their 2h I apologize their 2h um, does not launch in the air unless they're on the ground so Yamcha for example his 2h on the ground, both of his hits need to connect. 
excuse me, both of his hips need to connect so that he can properly launch you. But once you're in the air, his two aches completely changes to him actually performing a downward kick. That's something more used to bring the character back down to the ground rather than it is to actually launch them. So my best advice to you is, you know, tinker around with your character. Or depending on who you're using, you're going to have to come up with different routes to extend their combos. So for someone like Yamcha, I would definitely recommend probably taking a look into, um, I believe his EX Wolfing Fist, you can combo off of that. And then, you know, adding assist in there to potentially get some extended damage, <coughs> excuse me, or whatever you would want to do. You would have to get into the lab and see what does the most damage for you. I personally know I do not do the most damaging combos, I just do the combos that work for me and that I've taken the time out to learn even though I do need to learn those extended <coughs> well let me not even say extended because extended doesn't always mean more damaging I do need to take the time out to find the more damaging combos the more damaging combos normally tend to start off with you know mediums where oh I apologize I don't know why I did that <coughs> So, not sure if you guys remembered, but you saw that max combo damage being 4900, and that was the combo that I did starting off with the two lights. Oh man, I don't know why I did that. With the two lights. Okay, <laughs> I got buttery fingers right now. Yeah, so... Once again, with those two lights starting off, and once again, just to demonstrate, you see that it goes to 4900. But when I started it with that medium, nothing but the mediums, take a look at that damage. That's a huge difference. From 4900 to 58, so essentially... Uh, close to 50% damage, or let me not even say that, close to close to 5,000 health damage, and it boosted up by almost a thousand, but 800. It boosted it up by 800 damage. So 49 to, or rather 900. It boosted up by 900 damage from 49 to 5,800. That's a big difference. So once again. It's going to be up to you to find out what works for your character, what's the most damaging if you wanted to go that route. And it's just a little bit of lab time. One thing that I did notice once again is starting off with mediums, um, removing combo filler. Combo filler is going to be, once again, those two lights. But here's the thing. Well, let me continue on what I was saying. Removing combo filler is going to give you more damage for your combos. But we often use <laughs> excuse me. We often use these two lights to confirm into that damage. And I know I do for a fact because <laughs> there are times where I'll delay my hits in a block stream just to catch the guy pressing a button. And it gives me the opportunity to apply a little bit of pressure and pre prep my mind to confirm off of it. But it is very hard to to commit to such a, to a, a down a crouching M or or just a M itself because you can only go two ways about it. Your presser ends here, so imagine if he was blocking, um, it gives him the opportunity to fire back with something. But when you have this much stuff to work with, when you have four hits to work with as opposed to just one. You know, people go into the 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 key blast, or they go into the the Kamehameha, or they go into the overhead. Whatever the case may be, I'm I'm getting off topic. Either way, go into the lab, practice with your characters. Depending on who you use, your combo routes are going to be different. But I did want to go ahead and just show you this basic stuff using all three characters, just to show you a little bit of variety in the differences between performing that combo mid screen and then performing the combo. Um, in the corner so that's gonna be it for today guys if you enjoyed the video go ahead and leave a like and if you want to see more leave a like <laughs> um 
go ahead and comment down below if this was helpful I know it was a bit of a long video hopefully it does help any of you guys who are looking to find out how to do it hopefully it gave you a little bit of insight between the differences or the little nuances that each individual character has some people can do it some people can't and when you do do it with certain characters they may not get the same extension that another character has and you know it's just the way that the it just it's just the way that each individual character is which is great because it gives a sense of indiv individuality to each character so go ahead and comment down below if it actually did help you guys i hope it did and if you guys are new to the channel and you want to see more make sure you subscribe so that you can stay up to date with all the latest gaming news and obviously if you're interested in the tutorial stay up to date with that and that's going to be it for the the video guys thank you guys for rocking with me and until next time space cowboys hey Thank you for watching. If you enjoy, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Until next time.